Hello agents and welcome to a massive Lego haul unboxing. I'm Agent Hurt from Agent Bricks and we're bringing you a bunch of stuff from Bricklink and maybe even some eBay and from the Lego store. So let's get into it, see what we've got. First I wanted to recognize my, my new friends. They're a, a local Bricklink store, I just met them. Uh, their store is called Brick Salvage, so check them out. I'm always open to uh, help promote other fellow AFOLs, AFOLs in the area. And uh, <clears throat> this set is uh, 76003. It's the Superman Metropolis Showdown set. Uh, I wanted to uh, get some of the old Superman sets before they get too hard to find, but Really, the reason I wanted this set was more for the minifigures than anything. It gives me uh, all of the Kryptonians and plus the spaceship. Spaceship's pretty cool. So let's set that aside. And I've already knocked over my Sig Fig, so we'll put them over here for now. And I had a little mishap with the packaging, but. Um, <clears throat> I already got into it because I was trying to film an unboxing video and uh, it wasn't really working out quite as expected. But uh, this set is number 79002. It is uh, one of the old Hobbit uh, sets. And uh, this is going to, I think uh, after some of this order, it's going to really complete everything um, for my Hobbit collection and I can focus on some other things. So. Um, here's just the bags of bricks for the set, so I'll have some putting that together this weekend. And this one comes from overseas. This is set 79000, again part of the Hobbit collection. This is uh, Riddles for the Ring, if I recall. Uh, correctly, so who doesn't want a Gollum minifigure? That's probably one of the funniest minifigures I've ever seen. Let me put this Hymax down here. Another overseas package. Safety first, always cut away from your person. This is, <laughs> I forgot, I, I, I got uh, one of these torsos. I can't remember why off the top of my head, but I, I know I needed to have it. This is uh, from one of my other videos. I, I uh, posted that I got all the ring race. So this is all the ring race horses for my Attack on Weather Top set. So very excited about that because that means I can take the rest of my Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets, put them together, have some fun doing that, and then uh, take them all apart and pack them up and I can remove a whole storage container for now uh, with all that stuff, all those sets in there. So super excited about that. That's gonna free up a little bit of space. The next one is Bricklink Order. And this is uh, 79012, which I, I can't remember the name of the, the set off the top of my head, but it's something like uh, Mirkwood Elves Army or, or something to that extent. So again, completing the collection. Um, so it's got a warg and a bunch of minifigures in there. So it's kind of an army builder set uh, in some regard. The new catalogs, always important. I haven't even looked at the holiday 2016 catalog yet. And uh, in the mail the other day, I got the big, giant holiday catalog. So I'm probably going to lay in bed tonight and think about all of the money I don't have and all of the things that I need uh, for myself for Christmas. Next box. Well, let's go with this one. This is another, uh, this is, let's see. It doesn't say if it's eBay or Bricklink, but uh, let's get in here. Let's figure out what it is. Uh, 
All right. I'm super stoked to open all this stuff. It's been taking up so much room. And uh, my intent in the other room uh, on the table uh, was, was a good approach on paper, but not ideal for the lighting. So uh, out here works a little bit better while I've got some daylight and some brighter lights. Uh, this set is 79007, which is the uh, Lord of the Rings set for the Black Gate. I've got one of these sets, so I am super stoked to put both of them together and make the giant gate play set that's shown on all the boxes. So um, that will be really cool to put together maybe this weekend. <clears throat> this is, um, I want to say Bricklink order. Probably save the Lego store stuff for last. And we've got... This is set 79016, which I believe is Attack on Lake Town, uh, if I'm recalling correctly. So, um, I'm just about complete, as I've been mentioning. That was uh, a lot of the focus for my BrickLink ordering last month was to try to finish out that collection. Uh, the way I kind of approach things is I, I've got uh, some of the antiquated sets that have been discontinued. Um, I've got kind of a, a list. I'm a list person. So um, I just kind of go through the list and see what kind of deals are out there on BrickLink or Amazon and try to cross off the rest from my Brick set um, page and and uh, complete that stuff uh, before it gets too expensive. Um, this is a Lego. This is a Lego store purchase. Thanks for the rubber band. And this should be my Rogue One sets, which uh, I, I, I've not really been paying full price for any sets, but it was double VIP points. So how can we pass up? because that's going to work me toward either my Disney Castle or my uh, refreshed Death Star. And this is a set I'm really, really excited about. It's the ATST 75153. The detail on this set is just phenomenal. I, and uh, I, I also have a, um, a, a Rebels kind of era, kind of pre-Episode 4, um, army that I've been working on here and there, and so to be able to add an ATST and some drivers is is great. Um, I, I'd love to have a couple more of these for that army, but um, they're pretty pretty expensive. I got to focus on stuff that I don't want first, and maybe one day I'll have extra money, right? This is a. Brick link order. Get out from in front of the camera. And what we got here. Saw it open. We've got packing. Lots of pack lots of packing. Lots of packing. Okay. Oh, this is kind of an interesting uh, packaging approach. Never seen that before. But works just the same and this should mark the completion of my hobbit lord of the Rings sets this is 79017 battle of five armies so a uh, huge selection of minifigs we've got uh, the thorn oaken shield and the king regalia but uh, more importantly we've got dane iron foot i'm i'm excited to have that minifigure in my collection i mean look at them the only thing that i'm disappointed in is it doesn't have the freaking battle warthog that he rode into the battle in the movies but all the less looking forward to putting that together and this is the epic conclusion to my lego store order and we've got a bunch of stuff in here first we've got 75152, which is the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. Uh, would love to have a couple of these sets as well. Um, uh, pretty excited to uh, view the movie here in, in uh, well, a handful of weeks, really. 
Rebel U-Wing Fighter. This is a set 75155. Um, looks like it's got some in it. Uh, almost looks like the Ewing pilot. I can't tell if that's a mustache or just like he looks like somebody farted in his face or something. But uh, really stoked to put that together. See how big that's going to be. Uh, it's 659 pieces, so I'd imagine it's a pretty decent fighter size. Ooh, this is uh, the freebie that we got. It's like a, uh, a bunch of Lego uh, Christmassy stuff. Um, it's the 24 in one box, so uh, a bunch of little cutesy things. We'll see uh, if maybe these are about the size that I could add them to a winter scene. And if so, then uh, we'll, they'll go into my Lego city at some point. The uh, packaging experts at Lego evidently uh, uh, that were, uh, there's, there's no air in the bags. All right, this is the TIE Striker, 75154. Looks pretty cool, pretty cool take on a, a TIE Fighter. Um, it's got a couple different uh, guys in here. It's kind of some uh, fodder types of guys. The Stormtrooper, uh, I'm guessing it's kind of a sand Stormtrooper uh, configuration is pretty cool looking. Uh, Imperial Ground Crew. And uh, Rebel Trooper and TIE Pilot looks like standard uh, TIE Pilot minifigure, but uh, that'll be great to put together. And the Epic Pinnacle, I'm really excited about this set. Krennix Imperial Shuttle 75156. This is going to be a great set. It looks fantastic on paper. It, it's got the functionality that I wished... Um, that the uh, last shuttle had. Uh, it looks kind of similar. It's kind of got that uh, curved shape uh, with the tri-fold wings like the Lambda class shuttles. But the, the minifigures are probably the most exciting. Uh, we've got K25, uh, K2SO, which is the robot that everybody um, can see in the, the trailers. So pretty excited about that. Uh, a couple of other uh, we got a couple of the Rebels and Director Krennic, of course. Um, so that's going to be a, a great minifigure torso because it's got the the um, Imperial, uh, gosh, what's the insignia uh, marking for? I believe that's uh, also replicatable to to basically an admiral. So uh, that could be some potential future Bricklink quarters. That's all I've got for you guys as boxes fall everywhere. I'm so excited to make a huge giant mess in my living room just for you. Um, this There's going to be hopefully some time lapse videos of some of these projects to follow, but more importantly, it gives me the room I need back in my Lego room to do some things I've wanted to do. So appreciate everyone's time. Feel free to post comments, questions, like, dislike the video, subscribe would be fantastic. And uh, you can check me out. I'm on Twitter at Agent Hurt. Uh, also, obviously, YouTube. Uh, I have a, a Tumblr, which is agenthurt.tumblr.com. That's T U M B L R period.com. And uh, not two periods, sorry, it's getting late in the day. But, um, and then I've also, I'm also on Facebook, Facebook blah, 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 at Agent Hurt. And, um, my Bricklink store is Brick Agents. We're just uh, still working toward getting fired up and making connections with folks. And uh, I've got an order inbound that I think is going to get me going. So look forward to sharing some of those pains and smiles and successes with you guys. Everybody have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.